Okay, third quality of a great 9.8 is it's cold. So what do I mean by that, it's cold? Uh, I mean there's really no current hype or there's no shows coming out or there's no movies being speculated on or anything like that. Uh, yet, the comic book is still trending up in price. Uh, so a good example of this one, I think, is an Uncanny X-Men 121, one I am lucky enough to have. Uh, so this one, about three years ago, I purchased this one for about $550. Recently, there was a sale for $2,300. So a pretty great investment, I would say. And, you know, for, uh, for this one, when I purchased this one, uh, I wasn't like, oh, I just read an Alpha Flight thing. Maybe there's going to be an Alpha Flight movie. Or, you know, I, I didn't, like, hear a rumor of Alpha Flight. I just The only reason I bought it is because it's a great awesome key issue from the John Byrne, Terry Austin era. It's a great one in the 9.8, pretty decent 9.8 ratio, not too many of them out there. Awesome cover to enjoy. First full appearance of Alpha Flight, like, that's the reason why I bought it. It just stands on its own as a great collector item, and over time, I've, I've done really well on it. So, you know, I'd much prefer a book like this than, say, you know, like some of these Kate Bishop books right now, where, you know, the Disney Plus show is out right now. There's some demand and hype being generated for Kate Bishop. Kate Bishop, probably in 50 to 100 years, probably won't be around. Maybe they end up giving her a huge push, and she is, but I think Spider-Man and Batman have a better chance of being around in 50 or 100 years than Kate Bishop. So, you know, that's the kind of book that I would sort of avoid in the current environment. And even uh, like that uh, Sam Wilson uh, as Ca first as Captain America book, that one's really cooled down from when the Falcon and Winter Soldier show was on Disney+. Plus. And I think the Hawkeye books you know, that similar is going to happen to that. Like in six to 12 months, there's going to be a new Disney Plus show that everyone's excited about, and the Hawkeye books are really going to cool off. So for me, you just really want to go after a 9.8 that stands on its own, that has big iconic heroes, but it's kind of cold. Like there's no real hype or anything. Then you're going to get it for a fair price, and you got a really good chance of it just kind of slowly but steadily increasing in value just based on the fact that it's an awesome collector item. If you're liking my content, please subscribe and hit that bell, and I'll keep you updated on future videos.